I think we should go on an art adventure. And what we can do is find random stuff and then paint on it. a successful trip. Let's go back and create something. We're back. I'm gonna show you everything we got. The first thing we got is this adorable little house. Found this in the dollar section and it's actually already pretty scratched up. See that? It is not in the greatest looking shape, but it was only $3. And if I'm planning to paint over it, I don't need to get a perfect one anyway. This was also in the dollar section. Guess how much? $3. I really just wanna paint the cup. I don't even know how ambitious I'm gonna be in this video. So I'm working from like, the like eh to up to the coolest items basically. So the next two items that I'm gonna show you, I am really pumped about, okay? By the way, I think this was like $5. All right, I saved the coolest item for last. In my opinion, coolest item. So I found this really cute little caddy thing. It's from the brand called Pillow Fort. I love their organizational stuff and this was just too cute. I got something else, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm really excited. I've never heard of this brand before. These are acrylic paints from the brand called Mondo Llama. Yes, this is also from Mondo Llama. Don't know what I'll do with it, but we'll see. We have our trusty, crusty paint brushes. Let's begin. We're gonna paint on this rainbow first. We're gonna use my acrylic paints because I don't really have craft paints, except for these cute ones that I showed you earlier. I don't know if these are classified as craft paints though, but who cares? Here's my semi crusty palettes. I mean, come on. We still need a sticker that says crusty palette club. We'll get there. So I have some fun plans. I want this to be like a practical thing that I could actually use to decorate my house. I will show you my plans before anybody asks. No, this is not going in my nursery. I don't really do nursery art. I bought it on Etsy. <laughs> Golden acrylic paint. I'm really excited to just be painting on random objects. I kind of want to make this into a series. What brushes can we use? It's always the thing. This watercolor brush keeps chilling up in my acrylic oil paint, whatever brushes, and I keep wanting to use it. I'm not doing that. You have been evicted from this cup. Wait a second, what's in this cup? Still need to clean all my little crusties. I think this is good. Let's get a dollop of white. Mmm. So I want this to fit the aesthetic of like my house. So first, let's do some white. Gotta get in all these little creases. I have solid white on the front. I still need to do the sides, but I think I'm actually going to paint the back in solid white as well, because then it can go on a desk or like whatever you want and it looks completely finished all around. I hope this Mondo Llama sticker comes off really easily. Kind of, ugh. I wish I would have done this before I started painting because I'm too impatient to let this dry right now. Moment of truth, let's go nice and slow. Oh, just one little chunk. Let's see if it comes off easily. Hey, no residue. That's what we like. Painting the edges. Oh look, it's that time of day when the lights shine in through the blinds. See this semi-crusty palette? I'm going to rest the front right there. What a painting adventure. Now let's paint the back. Okay, this is gonna dry now. So we have this cute little house and I kind of want to paint it. I don't really know what I want to do with it, but I have to at least, 
do some touch-ups because it's really scratched in this roof. Mm, no, no. Let's do some painting on it. We shall let this dry. Okay, this little $3 pack of wooden decor things. I am going, I just wanna get this little teacup out. Ooh, this smells like a new shoe. That's weird. Do you guys sniff new stuff like when you get it? Like when you open a book, do you sniff the inside? I love the smell of new and old books. So this is definitely fake wood, but uh, we're gonna make the most of it and just paint right over it. Coat it with white. Boom. You know, I'm surprised that the words don't show through. I thought there was more of an indentation, but this is a pleasant surprise. I still have to paint the handle. <laughs> I've just been awkwardly holding it. I feel like I'm doing so many awkward things in this video. Like I'm just not thinking through logistics of painting. I'm literally watching paint dry. I'm gonna let this dry elsewhere now. I'm just gonna sit it on top of this. You should see my desk right now in the background. It's like a mess. I'm gonna show you the village of drying things. We have me and that, and then all this random stuff back there that like never gets shown on camera. This is dry enough to paint now, so let's move forward. I am so incredibly excited to use this Mondo Llama acrylic paint. We're gonna have to do that. So I'm trying to decide a color scheme, like these could maybe be a thing. Let's just feel it out as we go. Let's play a game of confession time. Have any of you ever used your teeth to open one of these paint bottle things to take the film off? I don't know if I have. I'm really weird about teeth stuff, but I feel like that's something people probably do. No judgment from me though. I do a lot of other weird things. Okay, so this metal stripe here is gonna be the copper one. Mondo Llama. So far, I'm not impressed with this paint. It's really transparent. Not the greatest coverage, but we'll just do a second coat in a little bit. I got this like two or three years ago and have never used it, so today's the day. I'll mix it with a yellow dollop of this. Not what I had in mind. We'll do a little more of that. There we go. So I decided this is gonna be pink. Maybe a little lighter. Cute. This would be cute on the outer edge too. Let's do it. There's some areas we will touch up a little bit later. Paint is very forgiving. Just remember, if you ever mess up, have grace with yourself. It's all good. All right, Mondo, don't let me down for my favorite color. Well, I don't want to waste this. This is so overrated. Sorry for all the people who think these are cute, but this is so transparent. Whatever, it was only $2.25. It's just very watery and not very pigmented. Like I would not recommend this paint at all for something that's not craft related. Like if you're gonna do an acrylic painting, eh, no. I have an idea. I added some of my white paint to thicken it up. Oh, this is a lot better. Ta-da! I will paint the inside with this color as well. Let's do another coat of this copper color. I think I'll need to do a third coat, but we'll see. It's called hammered copper. I think it should be called disappointing copper. Hopefully this one is good. We're gonna do some touch-ups with white paint on all these little edges. One more coat of copper should do the trick. There, okay. 
Okay, we have our super cute little rainbow. It is quite adorable. The edges are painted. Yeah, I really enjoyed painting this. On to the next one. Remember this little house? Let's do something fun with this. So I have some paint left over from the other thing. I'm just gonna add some paint to this tray. Bloop. Whoa, there. Hey, calm down. That's good. Okay, so the outside of this house is going to be this beautiful mint color. We will do the roof a different color, so ignore that. Oh, I have another question though. Do you say roof or do you say rough? This paint is so glidey. Okay, the sticker has to come off. Wow. Well, isn't that a good place to hide a $20 bill? Last side. I'll let this dry. Let's move on to the teacup. I just realized I forgot to paint the this piece. Our good friend. Wow, I need to get more of this though because I paint all the time with acrylics on canvases like that. <sighs> this shall dry again. Can we do something fun for the front door? Let's take some burnt umber and do the roof. Um, Actually, I'm going to just paint the sides of this house again. Ooh, this is a nice brown. I'm thinking a fun, funky color for the front door. Let me decide. I kind of want to do a red front door. I think they're so cute. Whoops, that was more than I wanted. So, a little paintbrush. Something like this, perhaps? Do I wanna make it look like the lights are on in this thing? Cause I mean, look at this. There's windows, right? And a door. Do we want the lights to be on? I think I'll keep it classy and do like a darker mint and the lights will be off. There's already gonna be a lot going on with this house with a red front door. Makes me a little nervous. Okay, let's let this dry and then we'll see how we feel about it. I may change the roof color to black. Just don't know if I'm feeling brown now that the door is red. The dark mint color for the windows is happening now. Let's take our nasty paint jar. Kinda like that. Now do I wanna change the door to brown or the roof to black? No, I'm sticking with a red door. That was what I wanted from the start of this project. Let's do the back windows. <sighs> we have to change the roof color. I, I need to, gotta do it. I'm just gonna make my own black paint. It'll be like a darkish brownish gray type deal. Okay, here's to a cuter roof. Oh, I like that so much better. So we're gonna do a little border around this door with the same color as the roof. Okay, now I need to decide if I want a bunch of little window sills. Oh, I'm gonna say yes. Go the extra mile and just do it. Poop, a piece of paint chipped off. This is cute. I would like to do some final things with the door. Nothing huge. There we go. A little bit of texture on the house would be cute. Nothing big, nothing fancy, just 
enough to make it look a little textured. Maybe some texture on the roof as well. Subtle shingles. <laughs> what a cute little house. Well, this was fun. I liked painting on this little house. Not something I would normally do, but then again, neither is this. Sometimes you just have to do something different and switch things up and you get a burst of inspiration from it. Okay, my little cup. I think I wanna do something cutesy. I've been on a kick with my acrylic wash lately. Look at all these colors. Okay, I'm looking for a cream color. So if you could help me find it. Beige. I will use this semi-crusty palette for this one. It's getting hot in my studio. Because I'm painting so many things in this video, I'm shooting for simplicity. Let's take beige. That should be enough. I left this and it just got all crusty. I'm gonna have to have a spa day for all my brushes. What's nice about acrylic gouache is it is matte. I'm just gonna cover the front of this cup and the sides. Maybe I'll just cover the whole cup. You know it's getting real once you start wearing paint. Our mug is drying. Now there's a color, oh, <laughs> found it. I already know my color scheme. Literally never used this. I don't even know if I feel like it now, this glittery Mondo Llama stuff. So this mug, this mug, mug, mug. Let's get some colors down on it because that's what we should do. I'm feeling this muted, creamy color scheme. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna keep the color palette very limited. I know for a fact I want this yellow ochre on the top and bottom of this mug. There's a stripe and there's a stripe. Now, it's not a Mirabiler video without saying hello to our nasty squirt bottle. is going to be like this curly Q thing going across the top of this cup. I'm gonna turn it sideways for this. There we go. The bottom of the mug will have a straight line. I should have changed this water a long time ago, but am I gonna do it? No. Okay, now for this green. We have some cute little scallops. We can do a light brown handle. Oh, this is so cute so far. Do I wanna do like a flower in the middle? I think I do. The design is not completely centered, but that's okay. There we go. I really like the simplicity of this one. And I'm not I'm not gonna paint the sides or anything. It's it's just gonna be like this. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> so now we have this box. I already know what I wanna do on it. The moment I saw it in the store, I knew. Like I knew what I wanted to do. I really like botanical stuff. So with that being said, I think I want to do botanical things on this box. This one might be awkward to paint on camera, but we'll just try our best, you know? So I have in mind, Her cute little ferns. That's cute. Now that I've done one of them, I'm gonna expedite this process by just doing the outline of all the ferns and then we'll do the details.
Okay, I'm on the final side of the box. It's pretty repetitive because there's just tons of ferns. Now I'm taking this shell pink color. I'm gonna do something unique. Well, kind of, not like super out there. But I want to do like a pattern. Okay, I'm gonna do that all around the box now. Oh my goodness, this box has taken so long to paint. And it's just a simple design, but it's just, you know, it's a more awkward shape. I kind of gave up on filming it because it was hard to get in frame. And I was sitting in all these like weird, awkward <laughs> positions to get it done. But I really, really like it. Oh my goodness. I'm crafting Christmas presents for people. So this is going to be for somebody and yeah, not saying names on my channel because people I know watch my channel. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of looking at this and thinking the rim of this, just the rim, I'm trying to keep it simple. I do not want, like I love the exposed wood on the inside. Sometimes less is more, especially if you're going for like home decor. Man, my brushes are so crusty, but I did it to myself. I need to clean them. I think I am gonna do this rim pink though. One more little ledge. Wow, that took a long time. We finished the box. Boom. Wow, really way to end it with a bang. Just got wet paint all over me. I really like the grids and the little fern leaves. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Anyway, I really enjoyed doing this. So if you would like me to make this into a series where I paint on random things I found at Target, let me know because I will probably make that happen if this is interesting to you. I really enjoyed it. This was just a really fun thing to do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and just hanging out. I know this was a way longer video than normal. So if you're still here at the end of this, you're awesome. <laughs> thank you. I am a little surprised I did this much art in one video too, because I don't know, this kind of stuff takes way long. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. I will see you soon. Bye.